Hello, my name is Dan Senor. I'm a graphics instructor here at NTC. Uh, this is my daughter, Allison. Hello. And uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to take great pictures using your cell phone. Step number one, we're going to show you how to use your camera so that you take stable pictures. The first thing you can do, and Allison will show you here, is that you can hold the camera up like that with both hands and hold it nice and stable and then press the button with your finger. What you don't want to do is hold it with one hand and then try to press it because the camera is really wobbly when you do that. Another thing we'd like to show you is that you can take a picture either in a landscape orientation or in a portrait orientation where it's going this way. So if you're going to show this on a TV or a computer screen, you're always going to want it in the landscape orientation. If you have it in the portrait orientation, you'll end up with black bars on the side. So when you take your picture, make sure it's stable and make sure you know how you want your camera to be held. Tip number two is always pay attention to the light. Make sure you know the direction of the light and how you want your photo to look with the light. So now what we're going to do is show you some examples of how we're going to deal with the bright sun that we have this morning. The first example is we have the sun directly behind the subject and it is very bright. So if I take this picture right now, you will see that the subject is very dark because the camera is sensing all the brightness behind it and adjusting for that brightness. If I go to the side and take the picture, you will notice that we have brightness shining on the side of the subject and what that causes is shadows on the other side of the subject. Another example would be if I have the light shining directly on the subject. And as you will see here, the subject is completely lit up very nicely but in this case, it's very, very bright, and you will have um, the subject with a lot of shadows in certain areas, and also, she's going to be squinting a lot because of the brightness of the sun. Like you saw, light can really change the way a photo looks. You just have to take the photo the best way that you can with the given light. It's a very different situation with bright sun on a bright sunny day than it is inside using indoor lighting. So just make sure you look for the light, and make sure you play around with some different types of lighting in that light situation and uh, take the photo so that it looks the best for you. Tip number three is gonna deal with composition. We're gonna talk about how you frame your subject in your screen when you take the picture. This composition tip is called fill the frame. So you can center your subject and make sure that the whole frame has the subject in it and take the photo. This composition technique is called the rule of thirds. So there is a pattern, it looks like a tic-tac-toe pattern, that you can visualize as you take the picture. So I'm going to show a picture where I put her face in the top right intersection point of that tic-tac-toe pattern. And you can see there's a lot of space on the left where you see the background. Here I'm going to move where her face is on the bottom right point, And you can see the background is on the left and it's, it's a little bit higher this time. Then I'm going to go where her face is in the bottom left corner and now I'm going to go where her face is on the top left corner and then you can see it just looks a little different with her on the side. The reason why the rule of thirds works is because it's a little more interesting than having the subject in the center of the photo all the time. If you end up with the subject a little bit off to the side using the rule of thirds you're able to see more interesting things off to the side and it causes a little tension between the, the subject and the background and it's just more interesting to the viewer. Another composition technique is balance. This is the weight of the photo. So if your subject doesn't have anything next to it, it's gonna look like the subject is heavier and it just makes the picture feel like it's tilting. So you always wanna balance out the shot with something off to the side so that it looks like it's more balanced. So here I'm taking a photo where Allison is off to the right, and as you can see, to the left side, there are some trees, but it, there isn't any real prominent subject that makes it feel like it's balancing out the shot. Um, it's just kind of empty space. If I move over, and Allison slides over a little bit, we have this planter right here, and since the planter is a, is a large subject, when I take this photo centered, you will see that it balances better because there's a, a, a bigger object and another larger object that are kind of balancing themselves. So that's the technique of balance. So we showed you some good tips today. We talked about how to take a stable picture using your phone, whether it's landscape or portrait orientation. We talked about how to um, see the light and how to pay attention to the light when you take the photo. And we also talked about composition techniques. If you enjoyed these tips and you enjoy taking photos, 
After graduating from high school, you can take photography classes at NTC through the graphics program or the video production program. We'll see you in a few years.